from with Agusa Solutions, and today we're out at another customer's location about to do an install on a 2004 and a half to 2007 Dodge Cummins 2500 truck. Uh, this particular module is our truck edition. We have many applications, whether it be Duramax, Power Truck, but in this particular, this one is a Cummins. Uh, the module number on this one is 2100. Uh, to start off, we're going to go through and explain some of the key things to look for during the installation. It is most pertinent to have a good connection on whether it be your map sensor or your fuel pressure connector. It is always important to make sure that your connectors snap in place. It is also good to make sure that after the installation is done to mount the module up in a secure location away from moving parts and high heat. Uh, we'll touch on this a little bit later. But uh, before we do the module install here, we're going to look at the two main connectors on this specific application that you need to look for. You're going to have your map sensor and your fuel pressure connector. The MAP sensor is a 3-pin connector and your fuel pressure connector is a 4-pin, as you can see here, 4-pin, 3-pin. Uh, the main locations, as stated in your installation manual, are located right next to the high-pressure common rail. Down in this area, right next to your high-pressure uh, common rail system, located right beneath the dipstick. As we can see here, here's your MAP sensor connector, it's actually uh, right on the fuel rail. And down here is your fuel pressure connector. Following, we will show you how to install these securely in our next segment. Now we're going to show you how to plug in our existing connectors from our module into the factory locations. It's just simple plug and play, and as stated, make sure that all connections snap in appropriately, that way they are secure. It's best, some people choose to go over their oil dipstick, before the connections, we choose to go under. It seems to not stick up as high and it also stays secure with the factory wiring harnesses. We'll now plug in the map sensor from our module into the factory location. As you heard, it was a secure snap. Be sure that snapped in. We will now plug in your fuel pressure connector, which as you look from the factory connections to our existing connections, they look virtually identical. So we'll take the end off the module and now plug it into the factory location for the fuel pressure connector. After that is done, you can now take the factory connectors to plug back in to the male connectors off our module. This is what keeps everything in line in the system uh, to coordinate and uh, properly transfer signals and information from one to the other. See, as you heard that snap properly together. Following, be sure to check all your connections are in the right place and we will now move on to running the wiring harness in a secure location and keeping the module in a place where it's safe and away from dirt, debris, and high heat. In place. Now it's time to uh, zip tie the module and the wiring harness up along a, a secure location. In this instance, on this model, we're going to run the harness along the wa factory wire loom going to the driver's side behind the battery. That's going to be the best place to mount to for ease and functionality. Instead of taking the time to show you guys where exactly to zip tie everything, we figured we'd go ahead and get that process out of the way and show you the finished project. As you can see here, we use the factory four existing zip ties. One here along the main wire loom on your firewall, along with another, and then we use the two to mount up the module right here where you can visibly see it. We also decided to take your resistor switch, which has got four positions. Uh, we'll go over the four positions. It's also stated in your installation instructions, but switch one, that is a factory setting, so that's not going to add any horsepower. Level two is 30 horsepower gain. Level three is a 60 horsepower gain, and level four is a 90 horsepower gain. Now, what we're going to do on this customer, we're going to leave it on level four because that's where you're going to see your most performance and your best fuel efficiency for any application. Uh, this particular customer wanted to leave these underneath here to keep it factory uh, 
factoriness of the cab and everything looking clean. Uh, guys can either run these into the cab and drill a hole and mount the dash, or you can leave it wrapped up right here. Either way, it's not going to matter. It's whatever works best for you and whatever you want to use on a day to day basis. We want to thank you for taking the time to join us today for another install video on this another happy and satisfied customer. Uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and our website as well, agdieselsolutions.com. Remember when you're out there, perform smart, perform efficient, perform with Ag Diesel Solutions Truck Edition module. Thank you for joining us.